Only a few episodes left on our second season of Winter Mods, and this week we're going to be focusing on adjusting the foot control, so stick around. Hey guys, what's up? Brian here. Thanks for tuning in today. Now I want to start this video out with a big shout out and a big thank you to a guy named Tim Hopkins. He actually sent me a pair of the coveted Raider foot controls and did absolutely free. Um, big thank you to him. This is something that I am actually very excited about. I've got the Yamaha mini floorboards on my bike and it's something that I've never really liked. Uh, not only just the looks of it, but I don't like how my feet fit on them. Um, when I get to going kind of fast, the feet start slipping off of them. And it's something that I've just never really been happy with. So I've always kind of been on the lookout for pegs anyways. And this is something that's actually going to be really, really appreciated. So like I said, big thank you to Tim. Now this also kind of ties into this week's video of adjusting the foot controls. Now, a few months ago at the end of last riding season, I got a Samson Ripsaw exhaust. Now when I went to install this exhaust the very first time, I didn't realize it, but it was actually hitting into my brake foot control. And I put it on, got to riding and got about three or four blocks down the road, went to hit the first stop and realized my brakes were actually engaged. Now what happened was that heat shield was actually hitting that brake control, pushing it down and actually engaging the brakes. And so I had to ride back home with my foot underneath that brake, you know, trying to hold it up a little bit. And when I got back home, I was actually able to adjust those foot controls. Now this is something that most of the time you're not gonna have to do, but every once in a while, you know, you'll run into a problem, whether it's, you know, like I said, the exhaust or whether it's just plain comfort, you know, uh, and it's a super quick, easy way to do it. So we're gonna get out there. I'm gonna show you how to adjust not only the clutch side, but the brake side. Now while we're at it, I'm also gonna show you how to adjust the brake light switch so that you're hitting that brake and it's actually engaging that light still. Now there's gonna be a super quick, easy video. There's not really a a whole lot to it just like the last few so let's go ahead and get out there and get it done start on our left side over here on our clutch side and there's not really a whole lot to this. This is actually going to be a pretty quick video. The first thing that we're going to do is actually take our two 12 millimeter nuts here that are actually locking our shift rod into place and back those out. Now once you've actually got both of those backed out, you can take that shift rod and just twist it. And if you twist it one way, it's going to take it and raise it up. And if you twist it the other way, it's going to lower it down. And I'm going to actually back it out all the way really quick and show you just how far you actually have and how long those threads are so that you can see they are quite deep. So you've got quite a bit of room that you can actually adjust with these. And if you do do that, the only thing that you have to do to put it back in is just twist it one way. And the way that this shift rod is threaded, it just keeps twisting the one way and it'll thread onto both screws. So you can take that, twist that shift rod up and down, get it, kind of test out where you're actually happy with everything. And once you've got it set into place to where you want it, you just take these locking nuts, screw them back up against your shift rod and you're set. All right, now on our brake side, it's gonna be just a little bit different. On the bottom here, you've got this actual joint and you've got a cotter pin on the back side. Now, the first thing that we're gonna do is unbend that cotter pin and get it pulled out so that we can release this actual pin here. And once you've got the cotter pin straightened to where you can actually pull it out, you can remove it and then you can take that pin and pull it. Now there is a washer on the back side, so you wanna make sure that you don't lose that. And you can take that pin, pull it out, and then you're just gonna take it and twist it. One way is going to pull it in, one way is gonna pull it out. So twist that and get it positioned to where you want it. And then once you got that to where you're actually happy with it, to where you're not hitting on your exhaust or anything like that, you can go ahead and take your pin, stick it back in, replace your washer on the back side, and then put that cotter pin back in. 
Now, one big thing that you do want to make sure when you actually do adjust this is to come back up and adjust your stoplight switch. And I'm going to show you how to do that as well. Now, usually once you've done any kind of adjustment to your brake pedal, you're going to have to come down and actually adjust your light switch here. And this is actually really simple. All you're going to do is there's a nut here and you can take it and twist it one way to raise it up or twist it the other way to raise it down. Now you do want to keep this well away from your exhaust to make sure that you don't run into any problems with melting it or anything like that. And all you want to do is take it and while you're here, just press on that brake pedal and adjust this up or down accordingly to where it's actually engaging at the right spot so that it's not sitting here completely up, you know, without pressing down on it and having your light on, or it's not to the point where you're pressing all the way down and it's still not engaging your light. You want to find that happy medium for it. Guys, thanks for tuning in today. Hopefully this video was able to show you how to get out there and adjust those foot controls so that they're not causing a problem and so that your ride is a little more comfortable. Now next week, I'm going to do the big reveal on the bike and this is something that I am excited about, guys. I went and redid the vinyl on it and it is coming out awesome. Um, I am so much happier with the way that this is versus the way it looked before. So be sure to be watching for that. Um, we've also got that and then we've got the week after we're going to be doing a oil change video and that's gonna close out our season this year. So after that, we'll actually be doing a little more riding videos and things like that. And for the next few weeks, it's actually looking like rain. So it's gonna work out pretty perfect. Hopefully after that, we're back to riding. Guys, thanks for tuning in today and uh, be sure to like and share this video. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Scroll down, hit that subscribe button. Other than that, we'll see you next time.